Let's make four spheres in Blender in under two minutes. Add a UV sphere and scale it up to cover your object. Remove the unused parts and shade it smooth. Make a new material for it and remove the principal BSDF. Add an emission shader and connect it to the surface. You can increase the strength of emission if you want and also change the color. Now let's add a mix shader. Plug the emission into the first shader and connect a transparent BSDF to the second shader. You can increase the mix factor. Now add a layer weight node and connect the facing to the factor of the mix shader. You can adjust the blend to control the effect. If you want the energy to be concentrated on the outside, add an invert node and connect it after the facing. You can adjust the blend to control the effect. Now add a noise texture and plug it in to the emission color. Keep the scale relatively small and you can adjust the detail, roughness and also add a little bit of distortion if you want. Now add a color ramp after the noise texture and you can give two colors to the sliders and move them around to give colors to your force field. Move the sliders closer together for more contrast. Now we'll change the noise type to 4D and add a driver to control the animation. Type hash frame backslash and with a number to control the animation. The larger number gives you a slower animation and a smaller number gives you a faster animation. Now for the final step, add a displacement node and another noise texture. Connect the factor to the height and plug the displacement into the displacement of the shader. This gives us a nice rippling effect on the surface. You can adjust the scale detail roughness again according to the look that you want. If you don't have the node wrangler enabled, please enable it. It's a very helpful plugin. Now select the noise texture and control T to add a mapping node. Let's add another driver to the Z value to animate the texture. Hash frame by some number to control the animation. And that's how you can make cool force field effects in Blender. Follow and subscribe for more tutorials every week.